Hi friends, uh, welcome to this session uh, from SNS Technical Training Institute. Uh, this is in continuation for our RSCA course. And today in this uh, lecture, we'll look into the different types of uh, links which we can create in Linux system. So there are two kinds of links which we can create. So links, we can create two kinds of link. One is the hard link and the another one is the soft link so the command to create this hard and soft link is the, uh, ln so if you use ln command it will create a hard link and if you use ln hyphen s it will create a soft link so what are the advantage and disadvantage of a hard link and soft link so hard link uh, is uh, only applicable to files and that if you create a hard link the both the files will have the same i dot number so it means that if you make the changes in the source file the same will be reflected in the destination file so because they both are having the same so if you update the data in one it will go to the second if you update the data here in destination it will go here in the source file uh, let's uh, let's do a deep dive and see how this this uh, works so let me just go ahead and create a file so let me create a file touch hard okay let me have some data also in suit cut Hard. Hello, control D and cat hard. So, hello is there inside this uh, file. Let me clear it. So, I have a file hard. Now, let's create a link. So, the command is ln and the uh, file name and then the new file name which we, create, we want to create the link. So before that, let's check the inode number of this uh, of this file hard which we have created. So the inode number is let me just drag it here a little bit. So inode number is eight four two zero three five three nine five. So now let's go ahead and create a new file, a hard link that is ln the source file name and destination file name. So I've created the uh, destination file name ls hyphen i www. If you see here, you can see they both have the same i dot number 8420359 ls hyphen i www hard. So you can see both have the same i dot number so if i make any changes in www that will be reflected in uh, in hard and if i make any changes in hard it will be reflected in www so you can see it has so let me append some value inside www i am on it Control D so that it comes out and now let's uh, see hard you can see it got appended inside the hard and if it's to www it, you can see it's also appended here so it's very difficult to identify if it is a hard or hard link because they, uh, they are not visible right now and they have the both uh, I know same I know number as we have already seen. They both others. So if you make any changes in one file, the other file uh, will also have the same changes. And so what are the drawbacks of the hard link? It can only be used on files. 
uh, so it's very hard to search for a hard link files because there is uh, we cannot differentiate between uh, these two files which we can see how we will be ident be able to identify that it's a hard link so it's very so let's uh, see if I remove this uh, www so what will happen so the hard link has been removed and the file is there so so the data remains so it's uh, hard links can uh, only be configured on files they are uh, it's very hard to identify if it's a hard link you have created or not so let's now go ahead and uh, check about soft link uh, so you can create soft links on your uh, folders as well so when you create a soft link two different uh, inode numbers are uh, provided if you update the data into source file it will automatically update the data into destination file and vice versa and uh, soft link works like a shortcut key and the one which you use in uh, your uh, windows if you delete source files or source directory you cannot take backup from the destination file if you want to configure soft link using the command so let's do uh, create a soft link so let's uh, ln hyphen s and the uh, file was hard and let's create a, a soft link w1 now if i do ls hyphen i and hard il hard and www1 so they will have a different a different uh, inode number you can see the inode number of hard is this and the inode number for uh, this particular ww1 is 8848342 so it's a different and here you can easily identify that ww1 is referring to hard so now uh, let me just open get ww1 you can see the same data so okay, will i be able to edit anything in inside ww1 this is technical let's uh, write this data now let's uh, view that get ww1 so you can see the data has been inserted here and the same is there in the hard as well cat hard so all the data has been inserted so now let's uh, remove the source file that is uh, hard rm hard and yes ls fn else here so now the link is broken so now let's see ww1 so you can see it's not able to uh, show us any data so it's it's, it's working as a, a shortcut uh, it is working as a shortcut and uh, this is the command which we'll use to create a hard link the same works uh, with the folder structure as well so let me create one folder uh, so M mkdr ss technical so this is the source folder uh, which we'll use so LA, so you can see them let's see the inode number for this ss technical so the so ss technical is there so now let's uh, create the uh, ln hyphen s and ss technical and the folder let's give this as uh, bangalore and now do ls hyphen here so you will see bangalore is referring to ss technical they both are uh, referring to the uh, same folder structure so it says soft link and uh, so, so the advantage of soft links are it can be configured on both files and directory and we can easily identify that if a soft link has been created so you can see here uh, it's very easy to identify your soft links and so this is all about uh, hard and soft links 
and meet in the next class. Thank you.